the Emax 2204s, which is the larger motors and the 1806s. I have them set up with the three leaf uh, Geffmans and using the new battery that just came in, the 1.8 from Hobby King, the Eternity A Spec G2. This is actually a 65 uh, with a burst of 120 when it comes to the C rating. So it's a really, really fast battery. Uh, 3S, 11.1. So this is going to be its first flight with it. Um, again, these are larger motors, change the props, change everything. So we're going to be doing some trimming. I'm going to fly in here and I'm also going to see the life battery for uh, hovering as well. And I'm going to set recording on. All right, we're recording. Camera to camera. All right, let's power this baby up. Okay, we got power, we got connection. Our trims are all set to zero. And then once we get some flight time in, I'll go ahead and I'll adjust the trim out. Mm, this cable's pretty long. I'm just going to leave it hanging here on the side. And I'll trim it that way. All right. Here goes nothing. Timer on. Give it eight minutes. Unlock the motors. Wind it up. Nice clean wind up. A little bit of pull to the right, to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it out to the right. Okay. Just need some slight trimming. Press the brakes out, good. Pretty smooth so far. Y'all pretty powerful. Speed's pretty good. Trim is pretty decent. Right there, he's on his own. Nice power. <laughs> Come on, bring it back. Nice power. The brakes. Nice hover. 
four minutes so far. Good reaction. Six, uh, six minutes. Perfect. Damn fine, perfect. All right, let's do a quick test here. While we just landed, I'm gonna grab the motors. Wow, cold. Cold. Warm. Cold. That is awesome. Okay, ESCs. Perfect. 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 This is absolutely, I am so happy. We got six minutes out of the 1800 battery. It didn't felt heavy. Felt like it could handle more. I'm gonna try 2200 next. Motors, ice cold, which is nice. FPV transmitters, nice and cold. And the battery is slightly warm, which is perfect. That means it was flying at its optimal condition. And this one is the A-Spec uh, G2 2200. So it's a slightly heavier battery, but I didn't feel any drag whatsoever with the 1800 and it felt good. Felt like it still had a lot of power. So now it's gonna be a heavier battery. We're gonna give it a nice weight test. And again, just like before, take off my cap and I'll start recording with the internal camera. This time I'm gonna broadcast, uh, this time I'm gonna broadcast to the FPV monitor and stro fly strictly FPV on this one. So I'm not gonna follow it like I did the first time. Okay. Okay, we're set up here, just like before. I'm just gonna leave the cables hanging on the side here. So we have the same configuration set up, except this time we're gonna go via F FPV. There it is. I can see what's on the, there goes my hands. See what's on the screen. And I'm gonna set this guy up right in here. Hopefully I can see enough. Normally I'm mounted up here. All right, same eight minutes. Arm it up. Let's have some fun. Feels a little heavier. But so far, so good. All right, let's fly via monitor now.
All right, um, let me see the time on this one. One minute, six seconds. So the other one was two minutes. So this, the 2200 actually gave me one more minute, um, but it's not worth it for that extra minute because I felt heavier. I mean, the first time I was flying, it was easiest way to explain. First time I was flying, it was like, let me show you here. It was like, I would decelerate and it does like this and accelerate. With the 2200, it felt like if I was like really bouncing and then when I would pull, it was like a really heavy pull kind of move. Um, so definitely, let me see the motors. Cold, 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 2200 battery, just lukewarm. ESCs, nice and cold. And let me kill the camera. Okay. And overall, good. Um, 2200 is nicer, it's bigger, but it feels heavier. And for one more minute flight time, I don't think it's worth the, um, so I got seven minutes out of this one, and I got six minutes out of the first one. So um, I don't feel that it's worth the one extra minute for that extra weight that I had there. Um, maybe outside in the park, cruising around. Turn off the video here. Maybe outside of the park, cruising around, going fast and getting in the wind and kind of gliding with the wind. It might be worth doing the 2200, uh, but actually the 1800 was just pro for this one. I mean, this right here was perfect. Absolutely perfect for this size and built. Uh, 625 grams um, with this battery it is absolutely perfect six minutes is more than enough time that's the average for these racers so I'm happy with that um, like I said the 2200 might be nicer if I'm practicing and I needed that one extra minute and maybe if it's windy outside and it's gliding more in the wind or if I'm flying higher it might be good uh, now can it fly with a 2200 absolutely you just saw it does it fit perfect absolutely it actually goes from the screws to the screws now, if you want to race with it, no. It feels heavier. Um, the banking felt a little harder uh, going around the curves. Um, almost smacked a couple of poles there a couple of times. I got like really close and then I had to kind of like overcompensate and drift so I don't hit the pole. Uh, it felt heavy. That's the only difference. With the 1800, it did not feel heavy at all. So I was very impressed with the 1800 for this one. All right, that's it. This is my uh, Diatone 17 semi custom build. I took. I took most of this thing apart. Um, I removed an extra layer of board like you saw in my other video. I have the vibration dampener for the camera. We'll see the playback, how it goes. Um, overall, I'm happy with the build. I'm overall, I'm happy with everything that it does. Um, the garage flying, perfect with these things. I mean, there might be a little vibration on the camera, but it's fine. I'm not doing aerial footage. I'm doing FPV flying. So happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs>